you have to be sensitive to the timing of God. Notice the Bible says uh, about this particular passage of scripture that there was a certain season, mm -hmm. a certain season. The Bible is very uh, clear about that, that there was a certain season that the angel of the Lord came down from heaven mm -hmm. to touch the pool of Bethesda mm -hmm. because the pool of Bethesda was surrounded by all kinds of sick people. People who were halted, people who were lame, people who had been infirmed. And in this case, the gentleman that we are referring to had been infirmed for 38 years. But at the pool of Bethesda, all of these people had gathered. And at a particular time, God would send the angel of the Lord to descend from the heavens to touch the pool of Bethesda. And whoever was able to make it to the pool first miraculously became healed. They supernaturally became delivered and set free from whatever had attacked their body. But you had to be sensitive to the timing. You, you had to have some awareness of when the angel was going to descend. It wasn't like God spoke from a voice from heaven and said, I'm coming. No, no, he expected them to be in tune. He expected them to be sensitive to the movings and the comings of the Holy Spirit because if you're not in tune to what God is about to do, you can miss it. You can miss it. And the reason that you must understand the timing of God, because when God is doing something new or when God opens up a door to bless your life, and if you're not aware of it, you can remain stuck in an old place. And if you don't understand the timing of God, you can find yourself continuing on the same pathway, continuing in the same habits, the same routines, not realizing that God is shifting. And that God shifting is an opportunity for you to also shift. Because if you don't shift when God is shifting, then you could be wrestling in an old thing, dwelling in something that's antiquated when God is saying, I'm releasing healing, but I'm releasing it now. You just missed what I said. I'm releasing it, but I'm releasing it now. Because I'm not sending this every day. Are y'all listening to me? There are some things that God doesn't release every day. The only thing that the scripture teaches us that we receive every day are the mercies of the Lord. So God is saying, I've already blessed you. Just by the mere fact that you woke up this morning, God is saying, I've already blessed you for the day. So no matter what's going on in our lives, we cannot afford to continue to complain because God has already given you a blessing just because you're here. His mercy woke you up this morning. His mercy, his mercy gave you your right mind. Uh, his mercy strengthened the limbs of your body. His mercy did that because before you open your eyes, God released new mercy into the earth and it was mercy that touched your heart. It was mercy that touched your eyes, your spirit, your mind. It was not your alarm clock. It was the mercy of God. Because if the truth be told, we're always, you know, snoozing and, and pushing the alarm clock. But, but it's the mercies of God that wakes us up. And so we receive that every day. But then there are other blessings that God only releases in certain seasons. At certain times. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. At certain moments. Yeah. And you have to be sensitive to the moment that you are in. Mm -hmm. Notice in the book of Isaiah 43 when, when God started talking to the children of Israel. Notice he said, behold, I will do a new thing. Yeah. Isn't that what he said in yeah. Isaiah 43, 18 yeah. and 19? Behold, I will do a new thing. But notice he went on to say, shall you not know it? He asked the rhetorical question, shall you not know it? Do you know what's going on? That, that, will you miss your season? Will you miss your season for change? For deliverance? Because God is opening a heavenly door for whosoever will can come through that door and be washed in his blood and washed by his grace and washed by his power to walk in a new dimension of holiness and righteousness and anointing as never before. Yeah. But you've got to be sensitive to the timing of God. Yeah. Do you know what's going on? Yes. Do you know what's going on? Yeah. 
Do you know that God is demanding that you can't stay the same? Have you heard from heaven? Have you heard from the Holy Spirit that God is putting pressure on your life because God has a time clock, God has a prophetic clock that is ticking and God is saying, I need you to come now. I need you to get things in alignment. I need, I need you to get yourself together now. I need you to organize yourself. I need you to rethink things. I need you to reevaluate your life and reassess situations around you because I am calling you now, not tomorrow, not next week, and certainly not next year. God is saying, I need you to stand up and be counted for now. But if you're not sensitive to the Holy Spirit, if you're not sensitive to the timing of God, you could be like these other people that when the angel of the Lord descends at a particular season, you're still on the peripheral of what God is doing. You're, you're still on the outskirts of the flow of the anointing. You're still on the outskirts of where God is blessing and where God is healing. I don't know about you, but I want to be in the spot. Yes. Are you listening yes. to me? If this is the pool at 355 yes. South, 1075 yes. West, yes. I want to be yes. at that spot. Yes. 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 And if the angel is coming at 4 o'clock, I don't want to be on the phone. I don't want to be distracted. I don't want to hear nothing about any kind of nonsense. I cannot afford to miss my time. Yes. But the time is for change. Yes. The time is not just to get a blessing. The time is for change. And change is the blessing. Oh, uh, you don't hear what I'm saying. Because God can give you something on the outside. But if he doesn't change you on the inside. Then the blessing on the outside will not be managed or stored over properly. So God wants to give you the opportunity to step into the pool of change. Do you know what time it is? Because it's time to change. It's time for the body of Christ to change. <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's time for the world to change. And the world is changing. Whether we want it to or not, things are changing. Systems are changing. Governments are changing. It's all going through cycles and turbulence because God is demanding change. Now, now this is the thing. You cannot afford everything else to change around you and you don't change. Or you will miss what God is doing. Or you will miss the greatness of God, the glory of God that is coming into the body of Christ at this time, and I'm telling you again, it's happening now. Amen. It's happening now. I say it prophetically. It is happening now. And you keep putting it off, and if you keep procrastinating, it's not guaranteed that that angel will come again the next season because who knows when God will change it. And if you're not sensitive to the flowing of the Holy Spirit, and if God closes a door, you could be on the outside knocking on the door trying to get in. When God is saying, I'm sounding the alarm today. I am speaking to your heart now. You're not in church by coincidence. You're not here on this New Year's Eve. By coincidence, just out of tradition, God is speaking from the heavens that I'm sending an angel from the Lord and he's touching the pool to change. Oh my God, tell somebody he's touching the pool today. He's touching the pool today. The angel of the Lord, the hand of God, the doors are opening and God is saying, come. So that I can revolution, revolutionize your life. Yes. Hallelujah. Come to me and drink so that I can break patterns and issues in your life. Somebody shout amen. amen. 